Today I'm going to show you how to check spark plug gap for your, spark, your new spark plugs. I'm replacing spark plugs. These spark plugs obviously are very worn compared to a nice, nice clean new one. And they are very inexpensive. So when you're doing part of your uh, tune-up, you want to say it's all cruddy. Yeah, you can clean it. But, you know, for a couple of dollars, you might as well just get a nice fresh new one. Now, on most cars, you check for the spark plug gap. Uh, information on the engine sticker underneath the hood, which would be right here. Unfortunately, this car doesn't have it. So you would either have to go on, look on the manual, or like, you know, if you belong to a library, you can get the online uh, automotive manuals, or you can Google it. But Google it, you gotta be careful because it could be all different types of engines. You really wanna get for your particular engine what the spark plug gap is. Okay, now once you know that I know that on this car it's particular, and you know, the spark plug gap is a, a 40 thousandths, so it's 0 0.040. And you can use a feeler gauge, you would have even when they uh, let me step up uh, back up a step. Um, out of the box, you do not install them because for this particular car and this particular engine, it calls for 40 thousandths. All right, and you would use a spark plug gapper like this. Well, it comes like that, or a feeler gauge. Again, with the feeler gauge, is not really that great. I mean, it, it'll get you there, but this, like it kind of clicks in. Once you, it, you have to have a slight resistance. All right, now, backing up again, 40,000. See, now, if I put a 40,000 in it, it doesn't go. So some people would just put this in, and, you know, you don't want to do that. It has to be what the engineers designed the car for. And this one has a little hook that you can bend the uh, little ground strap. A little bit up and you check gap again it's 40 I know this car is 40,000 so see it says 40 thousandths then you put it and it's a little it has to have a slight drag so I, I put it a little too much it just a little down more a little bit more I mean, it's not that hard but it, it helps so much okay a little bit more Forty thousandths, and now you you see it kind of just a slight slight drag. You know you're at forty thousandths. If you're using a feeler gauge, let's say you have a forty thousandths, you really can't feel that slight you know that slight click. That's why that they make the little wire one. See, they're all little wires, all different sizes. Forty five, forty, thirty five. Same over here. This is the same thing, just a different manufacturer. So again, forty thousandths. It's in there, perfect. See how it just goes in and snug. That's 40 thousandths, now you install them in the engine, you do that to the other four. You have a six cylinder, you do it to six. You have an eight cylinder, you do it to all eight. That's basically a little tip on how to properly gap the spark plugs. All right guys, this is a Motor Car Nut 2020. My vision is saving you guys some money. All right, please like the video if I helped you out and I'm gonna have tons of videos in the future. Please subscribe. Uh, I, I need I need I need much support support as I can get. All right, guys, thank you.